I swear to God, if I have to call 911 to help me up off the toilet, would it be someone hot? I should tell them like, I have, I have a candle like going in the other room. There is a possibility that something may be on fire. So you might want to send over the firefighters. I might need mouth to mouth if the smoke gets bad. And then they could come in and be like, you are the woman of my dreams with the best hair I've ever seen that I've ever rescued off of a toilet before. And then we can get married and I can tell that romantic story to my children. But since Alexa likes to play Taylor Swift, he's going to hear that and be like, Taylor Swift? And the other guy's going to be like, and it's on repeat. And he's going to be like, oh, abort, abort. No, uh, never mind. Good luck. No, I'll help you off the toilet, but that's it. Because, like, if a girl listens to Taylor Swift, that's like passive aggressive energy. Like, that vibe is going to get there, and she's just going to be single for life. Plus, I want to know who would knowingly date someone that writes songs about them. Like, it, it, that's like me sleeping with a guy that I know has an STD and then I get mad when I get it like you knew it you knew it's your own fault well unless you you want to be famous or unless you want an STD but it's like you've been warned over and over and over again and she's not secretive in her lyrics you don't have to be the smartest person ever to know what's going on like uh, yeah, I, I, I just don't get it. So yeah, that, that Taylor Swift or that, that Alexa's got to go. Alexa, give me a refund for you. She doesn't listen to me. I'm just like a woman. She doesn't say what you want to hear. She just ignores your ass. Actually, I think Alexa was a gift. <laughs> Can't get money back. We can resell her on eBay. I'm getting bored. I should go through Caitlin's phone. I should make I should make the, the her phone background a picture of me. Or I should I should Google weird things like I don't know. It's, it's like top ten top no I I don't even know um ten shocking ways to use a coat hanger N naked. <laughs> How to Photoshop out a third nipple? I don't know, but if you if you type in, oh that hurt. <laughs> you know, I thought since my hair is cut now, I could be like one of those people that goes to the grocery store and like flips her hair and hits the person behind you just because they're standing way too fucking close. But yeah, there are times where I'm standing there in line and I'm like, oh, I'm breathing so loud. And it's like, no, I'm hearing the person behind me breathing down my neck. Like, get the fuck off me. Like, the line's not going to go any faster by being on top of me. Like, I'm going to have to charge you for that. I have a bubble. I'm going to whip you with my hair. Anyway, so if you put in, you put in part of, part of, um, I need to put on my glasses. My head's hurting. Um... You can put in, you can kind of see. Okay, so, oh, these are so, I need to clean up. Okay, you can put in um, a part a part of something. Like, you can put in how to, or what does it mean if, and, and something is going to come up, something stupid. Like, how to attract any guy you want, or... How to make a guy miss you or, you know, something stupid. Girls Google the stupidest stuff. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you how you know. These are too dirty, I can't. Um, okay, so I'll tell you how you know. If you, have, if you have time to wonder if a guy likes you or misses you or whatever, he doesn't. Because the, the guys that miss you, they're, they're not going to give you time to wonder. They're going to be over at your place. They're going to be blowing up your phone. The only thing you're going to be wondering is if he has a job, other friends, or a place to live because he's always bothering you. So, I mean, no reason to look that up.
or okay so I guess, I guess there's I guess there's times where you're dating a new guy and you kind of have a feeling he's dating other girls too you don't want to ask because you come off as maybe insecure or kind of needy. You don't want to be the person that likes the other person more. So you try and be like a little hard to get and aloof, but like you want to know, like, should I keep investing my time in this guy or should I date other guys too? And I, I've never been the type of person that wants to date multiple guys at once because it's just, it's just too much. Uh, I like to meet a guy I like take my time getting to know him and if I like him keep going or not just find someone else and he can stay a friend but if, if you want to know if a guy is dating other girls what you do is I haven't done this and I don't think anyone I know has done this but I have told them to do this okay so take a picture of yourself that he took of you so he can't be in the picture it's just a picture of you but you have to make sure it's a picture he took what you're gonna do is you're gonna frame it and you're gonna put it somewhere in his house, his apartment. And it can't be somewhere obvious. It can't be like by his nightstand or next to the condoms in his nightstand. That's <laughs> that's not gonna work. Um, not in the bathroom. It has to be a place that is visible, but it isn't. He isn't gonna. It's not gonna draw attention to it. So. If a guy's dating other girls, they're going to come back to his place, especially if he likes them, because guys want to be like, hey, look at my place, and they want to they wanna come off as like a provider. So it's like, oh, you can come over, I'll, I'll provide for you, whatever. So anyways, and you know the way girls are, they're going to come over and they're going to look at everything. So if you put it on like their mantle in their fireplace, and you know the girl's gonna go up and be like oh was that a picture of you and your mom how cute and you know what's that a picture of and then it's gonna come to the picture of you and she's gonna be like oh who's this and that's when the guy's gonna either well he's gonna be mad because he was dating other girls he wants to get laid um but he's gonna come up with like some lie like oh, oh um this is my cousin or i don't know my mom sent that to me in the mail uh, i didn't frame it I just set it there to not uh, hurt her feelings. And when you come over a net, that picture is going to be gone. That's how you know he found it. And if it's gone, well, you know. If it's still there and he noticed it, that's a good thing. Um, or maybe uh, he just didn't have any girls over. Or, or maybe he brought over such a drunk girl that she couldn't even like look at stuff. Who knows? Who knows? But if he's bringing home drunk girls like that, you know they're not quality. And if a guy wants something like that, you don't want him. Anyways, a guy's not going to bring it up because it's like an embarrassing conversation and he is not going to want to fight with you. Because like, especially if you're, you know, giving up stuff to him, he's not going to want to like ruin that. So, if he is the type to bring it up though, let's, my ass is really hurting. Okay, so let's say... Let's say he's the type, to, oh my hand's hurting too. Let's say he's the type to bring it up. He's gonna, I don't know how guys would say it. I haven't done this. He'd probably just be like, you know, what was that picture that you left? And he'd be like, oh, that was, that was a picture you took of me. And I just thought it was really nice. And you know, I just wanted to give it to you. And you know, I just thought you might want it. You, you don't, you don't want it. Okay, you don't want to picture me, that's fine. I'll, I'll just take it home. I can give it to somebody else. And and then he's, you're going to tell by the look on his face. He, if he really likes you, he's not going to want to hurt your feelings. Now, if he doesn't care for you that much, you're like, okay, good. And he'll hand it to you. Or he'll just, he'll just like let it go. But if you see the picture come out later, it's a good thing. I don't know. I don't know how to tell if a guy's dating another person. All I know is don't don't invest too much time before like like make him give more than you give. Like let him prove himself. Like no, I don't know. I don't know. I don't have girls might have good advice, but they don't take it. I'm getting bored. 
can't even like call her because I have her phone and then my phone's right here. So now I have two phones. What am I gonna do with that? I can order pizza. It's gonna take a long time because I didn't even place an order to BJ. So I I just pray to God she doesn't like come back with donuts. I can't I can't stand like. All of my friends crave sweet stuff, and I am all about brownies. Like, I, I'll eat sweet stuff, but I love the salty stuff more. Like, I'm always craving, like, pizza or chips and salsa. And all my friends are like, oh, let's go get dessert. And I'm like, oh, what a waste. What a waste of calories. I want to eat, like, a burger or something. I don't know. Whatever. It's not a big deal. But yeah, she's going to get a lot of food. I can tell. She's taking fucking forever. It's going to take, like, an hour. I'm going to be on the toilet for an hour. That's okay, I don't have any shame. Ooh.